example, we'll be dealing with Bronsted Lowry theory. So let's go into a little more detail about Bronsted Lowry theory. Because I told you guys that I told you guys that there's stronger acids, there's weaker acids, and a reaction always favors the side with the weaker acid. But how do you tell which side has the weaker acid without looking at the pKa? How do you know which side is going to be favored, to the right or to the left? And this is the same answer for almost every question in chemistry. The reaction always favors the side that is more stable. You always go from unstable to stable. All right, you guys, so you're going to see how stability plays a role in just a second. But let me give you some acidity trends for right now, just to give you a uh, general idea for what is a stronger and what's a weaker acid, okay? And acidity trends look like this. As you go to the right and down on the periodic table, you are increasing this in acidity, okay? So, hey, here's carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, and then chlorine, bromine, iodine, right? As you go to the right and down, you're increasing in acidity. But hey, you guys, this is not to say that these atoms are acidic. This isn't saying that, hey, nitrogen is more acidic than carbon, oxygen is more acidic than nitrogen. That's not what this is saying, okay, you guys? This is saying that when hydrogens are connected to these atoms, those hydrogens on those atoms are more acidic. So hey, this is what I'm talking about. Let's just take, uh, for example, an H connected to a C and O and F, okay? I'm telling you that, hey, the acidity trend tells you that when a hydrogen is connected to one of these atoms, as you go to the right or down on the periodic table, you are increasing in acidity. You are increasing in your ability to lose this hydrogen. You're more willing to give up your hydrogen as you go to the right and down on the periodic table. Okay, so, hey, let's compare these, uh, these four hydrogens on these four different atoms. Can anybody tell me which is the most acidic, which hydrogen is most likely to fall off? The hydrogen on fluorine, right? Because, hey, fluorine's all the way across here on the periodic table. So just from these acidity trends, you don't have really logically have any idea what's going on here, but just according to the acidity trend, you should realize that, hey, fluorine in this example is, uh, is going to be, have the most acidic H on it, okay, according to the acidity trend. All right, let me give you one more example. Let's say, for example, uh, Fluorine versus chlorine versus bromine versus iodine, a hydrogen on each of these. Which one is going to be the most acidic? The hydrogen on the iodine, right? Okay, so hey, I never want to hear you guys saying that oxygen is more acidic than nitrogen or nitrogen is more acidic than carbon. Not talking about those atoms. It's talking about the, if you have a hydrogen on those atoms, okay? All right, so let me just erase this real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna write something down on the board that's not gonna make much sense to you now, but it will in just a second, okay? So let's just get this down. As you increase stability of A minus, this is going to increase the acidity, increase the acidity of HA. And if you're looking at this thing and it's like, whoa, what the heck is A minus, what the heck is HA, then good, that's how I felt too, okay? But check this out. All this is saying is A minus, this is going to be the conjugate base. HA is the acid. So check it out. For something like HCl, remember you guys? Hey, A just stands for any atom that this hydrogen is connected to. So for HCl, chlorine, this is represented by an A here, okay? HA, this is just the generic way of saying any acid. So HA, HCl, same deal. When HCl gets deprotonated in an acid-base reaction, it turns into Cl minus. Cl minus, right? Going from HA, HA to Cl minus, A minus. Okay, so that's all that uh, HA and A minus are talking about. So don't get freaked out if you see those. This is just the general way of representing an acid or a conjugate base, okay? Okay, so what this is saying, you guys, as you increase stability of your conjugate base, you increase the acidity of HA. What this is saying is, hey, if you increase your stability of your conjugate base, Cl minus in this example, you are increasing the acidity of your acid, okay? You're increasing the strength of your acid. It's gonna be more willing to give up that hydrogen, okay? And this really means nothing until you compare one acid to another acid. So, hey, let's take, uh, let's take something like water, for example. 
Okay, if you, if you uh, take this as an acid in an acid-base reaction, then this is going to change from H2O to OH minus, right? HA to A minus, right? Okay, so what, what this is trying to tell you, you guys, is, is that if you can recognize increased stability of a conjugate base means you're going to be a stronger acid, then you can take these two, look at their conjugate base, and see which one is going to be the stronger acid. And whichever one has the more stable conjugate base is going to be the stronger acid. Okay, so hey, really what you're comparing in these two is Cl minus versus OH minus. Which one of these is more stable, Cl minus or OH minus, okay? And, and you guys don't really understand which one will be more stable just yet, but let me just tell you that a Cl, a chlorine with a minus charge, is more stable than an oxygen with a minus charge, meaning that this conjugate base is more stable than this conjugate base. And as you increase the stability of your conjugate base, you increase the acidity of your acid. So hey, the more stable your conjugate base, the more acidic you are. We're saying that, hey, Cl, this Cl minus, this conjugate base is more stable than this OH minus conjugate base. So hey, this acid is going to be more acidic than this acid. HCl is going to give up that hydrogen more, it's going to be more willing to give up that hydrogen than this acid. Okay, you guys? And this makes sense logically, right, you guys? Because, hey, the more stable you are, the more likely you're going to turn into this Cl minus that's more stable than this, okay? Because you always favor stability, right, you guys? The more stable your conjugate base, the more likely you're going to give up that H, the stronger the acid you are. All right, you guys, so just to give you the big picture, why we're talking about stability of conjugate base, increasing the acidity, the strength of the acid, um, why we're doing this is for two reasons, okay? Number one is because if we threw two compounds, such as water and HCl, into an acid-base reaction, then hey, the first thing we want to know is which one is going to act as the acid, okay? And that's always going to be the one that's the stronger acid. The stronger acid is going to be the one that gives up the hydrogen, okay? The second reason why we're looking at uh, the stability of the conjugate base and the acidity of the uh, acid is because we want to see which way the reaction is favored, okay? So, hey, let's look at one thing at a time. What I'm saying is, hey, let's look at if we threw an HCl and water into an acid-base reaction. So, hey, let me go ahead and throw in water, or HCl with some water. Okay, so I told you the first reason why we're doing this stability of the conjugate base and acidity of uh, the acid is because number one, we want to find out if we put these two compounds in a reaction, which one is going to be the acid and which one is going to be the base, okay? And hey, the stronger acid is going to act as the acid, okay? And the uh, weaker acid is going to act as the base, okay? So check out what's going to happen here, you guys. Don't forget your uh, lone pair on chlorine like I kind of do a lot, okay? So... Right now, we have two compounds. Either one of them can be an acid, either one of them can be a base. What I'm saying is both of these have hydrogens attached, so technically, technically they have a hydrogen to give up, so technically they could either be an acid or a base, because check it out, both of these have lone pairs. Lone pairs are the arms that grab other hydrogens, right? So they can both act as bases as well. The question is, which one is gonna act as an acid, which one's gonna act as a base, okay? So, hey, the way you can find this out is by, hey, try both ways. Let's have this be an acid and this be a base, and then let's switch it around and have this be an acid and this be a base, okay? So, hey, let's try one at a time. And let's pretend, uh, let's, let's have this be the acid and this be the base first. So what's going to happen is, if this is the base, it's going to use its electrons, accept that hydrogen, kick the electrons off to chlorine, turning it into chlorine minus. So you're going to have Cl minus, and this water is going to have picked up a hydrogen and turned into H3O plus, right you guys? Okay, so that's one way this could happen. Let's see the other way. And let me draw this in green, okay? So hey, we said that this could be a base and this could be an acid. So if this was a base, you could use one of these lone pairs, pick up one of these hydrogens and kick the electrons off to oxygen. And let's see what the product of this is going to be, okay? So this HCl is now gonna have acquired another hydrogen, putting a plus charge on that chlorine and this water is going to have gotten deprotonated and turned into OH minus, okay, you guys? So, hey, the question is why we're doing this is to find out, number one, 
which one is going to be the acid, which one's going to be the base, okay? So, hey, the way you can tell which one's gonna be the acid is by looking at the conjugate bases. Whichever one is the more stable conjugate, has the more stable conjugate base, is the stronger acid. So, hey, what you're doing is you're comparing this conjugate base with this conjugate base. Which one's more stable? A, my, a Cl with a minus charge on it or an oxygen with a minus charge on it? And I told you, hey, take my word for it that a Cl with a minus charge on it is more stable than oxygen with a minus charge on it, okay? You'll see why in just a second. But hey, if we're saying that Cl with a minus charge on it is more stable than an oxygen with a minus charge on it, then this is the more stable conjugate base, meaning that HCl is gonna be the stronger acid, right? Hey, increase the stability of your conjugate base, that means you're gonna have the stronger acid, the more acidic acid. That means that HCl is gonna be the acid, water is going to be the base.